This is a lesson on relating fractional parts of different wholes and sets. Now, what that means is you're just going to look at different sets um, and the fractions to them and then compare them. I don't know if that made any more sense, but here's, here's some of what the sheet says. <laughs> it says, when two wholes have different sizes, the same fraction of the whole is different for each whole. Now that probably didn't make a whole lot of sense either, but here's an example, and this will make sense. So um, we've got two strips. We've got this longer one and this shorter one. Now if we took these and put them each into one third, okay, and I'll just fix this. There we go. Okay, so one third, there's one and two, and they're not exact, I guess. I don't have a ruler to measure them, but they're pretty close. If I could draw a straight line, close enough. <laughs> All right, so nonetheless, I've got it covered. I didn't uh, color it perfectly, but uh, it's the best I could do on the computer with a limited amount of time. But anyways, each one of these strips shows one third. Now, these pieces that show one-third are not the same length, though. You'll notice that this one is significantly longer than uh, the other one, than this one. So that's basically what this, this lesson is about, is um, that showing that uh, different sizes of numbers and strips, um, and then doing the same fraction on them, and then just seeing uh, how the parts relate to each one another and how they're different. Okay, so which, which strip's one-third length is longer? Well, of course it's this one, right? But that's, that's basically a pictorial idea of what we'll be doing. And we'll also be doing some of these um, strips. So, um, here's our first rule. The longer the whole, the greater the length that represents any fraction. And that, in this fraction would be one-third. So, so long as the two fractions are the same, then just the longer the length, then that's, that's the one that will be greater. It's a pretty easy rule to remember. <clears throat> okay, so just the longer the length and the, the greater the strip. Now moving on, we've got an, um, an example. So the example asks us to show um, 3 quarters of 16 and 3 quarters of 12. So you'll notice that the fractions are exactly the same. Now this is just like the sets in the uh, previous lesson that we learned. So first, let's use counters to show 3 quarters of 16. So this says that I need four groups, one, two, three, four, and that I need a total of 16 counters. Here's the 16. So I'll add uh, one counter at a time into each group until I get to 16. Here's 12, 13, 14, 15, and there's 16. And then this top number, the numerator, tells me that I need to circle three of the groups. Okay, and then this tells me that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 3 quarters of 16 is 12. Now I need to do the same thing with 12. Now obviously we know this is going to be smaller because we know that 3 quarters is smaller than 1 whole and 12, or that this would be have to be 1 whole to be 12. But we'll still do it to show. So we've got 4 groups again, 1, 2, 3, 4. This time we have 12 counters instead of 16 though. So that means that I will have three in each group. And again, I'm going to circle three of those groups to get nine. So which one is greater? Well, this one is greater. Three quarters of 16 is bigger than three quarters of 12. Okay, that's just like if I was going to give you uh, a cake and you could either have this size or you could have this size and I was going to give you half of the cake, which cake half would you choose? Well, of course you would choose this half, right? You'd want the bigger half. Unless, of course, if you were on a diet and then you might want the smaller half, but just with a general rule that you want more cake rather than less cake, you probably want that one. So same rule applies here is if this number right here is larger, then the fraction of it is also going to be larger. 
So the rule is the greater the number of counters, the greater the number that represents three quarters. So this has a larger total number of counters, so that means it's a larger uh, representation. Now, this concept might be um, really easy, but it's also important that you um, show the information so that you show uh, what you were doing. Okay, um, so this process was more important than knowing that 12 is bigger than 9. That's that 3 quarters of 16 is bigger than 3 quarters of 12, right? You might be able to just take a guess at what that might be, but this allowed us to figure out what the actual answer is, and then we know exactly why uh, 3 quarters of 16 is bigger than 3 quarters of 12, right? So um, in the assignment, just skipping ahead for a minute, if you think you know the answer, please just do um, the activity as well that goes along with the question. All right, so we've got one more thing to do here. We've got a practice. So it's similar to the question above. You're going to show four-fifths of 20 and then four-fifths of 15 and tell me which one's bigger. Now, if you look at the rules that I gave you, then you probably know which one is already bigger, but please do on the counters as well. So pause the video now. Okay, so I've gotten us most of the way. You should be done completely. But to start off, I've shown four, well, I haven't shown four-fifths. I've shown 20 in five groups so far, and I've shown 15 in five groups. So since there's more counters over here, you can probably guess which one is more. But let's circle them. So this one says that we need to circle four of the groups. Okay, so here's one, two, three, four groups. And then over here, we're going to circle four groups as well. And then we're going to see how many is in each. So in this one, we've got 12. And in the teal one, we've got 16. So we can see right there that uh, 4 fifths of 20 is greater than 4 fifths of 15. And we know because 1 is equal to 16 and 1 is equal to 12. Okay, so this is what you're showing. Um, the first two questions of the assignment is going to ask you to show uh, strips. So you're going to have to measure and cut those out. Um, but they'll be similar to this and you'll fold them. Okay, and uh, you'll just glue those into your notebook. And then uh, the other ones are sort of counter ones. So the assignment is on page 187 and it's numbers one to four.